Hey there, adventure fans. We are Northern Adventure Squad, but who are we really? Welcome back adventure fans to our new session that we are going to call campfire coffee chats. We're hoping to do these monthly. Um, as you can see our campfire is a little sad and pathetic at the moment. We are in my living room because my campfire or my fire pit is under two feet of snow and it's minus 30 outside. So we figured this was a decent alternative. So it wouldn't be a proper campfire coffee chat without coffee. So one of the things that we want to do is every month we're going to showcase a different coffee that we like, especially when we're camping. Uh, today we are going to showcase Black Rifles Coffee's Little Warriors. Um, it's a medium blend. I'm normally a dark blend person, but I'm also a big fan of any form of coffee that supports a cause. So coffee for a cause. A portion of the proceeds from each bag of coffee goes towards the Little Warriors organization. And what the Little Warriors organization does is that they are committed to the awareness, prevention, and treatment of children faced with sexual abuse. Like I said before, I'm a big fan of any form of yeah. coffee for a cause. Coffee for a cause. Um, so, we definitely like to introduce the Northern Adventure Squad crew to you, which is me, Nikki, and Aidy. Hello. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> um, we do have a couple other friends that kind of help us around in the backgrounds. Uh, we have Steph, who has come on a couple of adventures. She's also going to help us make some music. She's a phenomenal um, music producer, writer, songwriter. Artist. General, Artist. Singer. Yeah, yeah, she's amazing. She's great. Just cute and fun to have around, too. So, yep. we'll link to some of her social, social media, media and everything in below and we'll also link she's probably gonna kill us we will <laughs> link to her cds on itunes itunes, she's iTunes. Got, on iTunes. She's got yep. two for sure that i know of yeah i have them they are definitely some of my favorite driving tunes yep. um so we'll talk a little bit about me after pause for coffee break cause pause for coffee break so i have been camping since i was a small child some of my earliest memories is out camping with my dad. I remember going huckleberry picking and sleeping in a huge canvas tent with my, my family. Uh, and I think I was three and I had to pee in a in a bucket, oh like a five God, yes. gallon pail. Yes, <laughs> in a bucket, <laughs> great. <laughs> I'm potty training children and camping at the same time. I'm sorry, dad, I'm so sorry. I apologize right now. Um, so yeah, I also went to school, I took I went to Red Deer College, took theater and film technologies, so that's again where that side of my art belongs in that theater and film side. And then I just spent so much time with people coming up to me and being like, looking at my social media stuff and going, I wish I could go camping or I wish I could do what you do. And thus, Northern Adventure Squad was born on a night shift when we had nothing better to do other yep. than to talk about things. Mm -hmm. So, and then you, I, where would you say that you started? Um, I think the really like the travel bug hit me and I think it was, I took a road trip with some of my really good girlfriends from Calgary back in 2008. We drove down to Seattle, we drove down to the coast and that just kind of really inspired me. I was like, hey, I can do this. I can go out there. I can explore the world basically and see that everywhere is different but still fairly similar. Like everyone still has similarities to where you're from but I've always been into photography um I started probably in grade five or six we had a class for photography and we were able to like develop our own film and everything and my dad had like a SLR camera I can't remember what brand it is right now but it was amazing so he learned how to take photos with that and then develop them yourself and that's kind of what sparked the photography the photography um desire and love for me so I've been doing that for a few years. <laughs> yeah, we definitely had, um, in our, our high school we did yeah. the pinhole cameras where you took old oh, okay, cookie yeah. tins yeah. and you put a little hole in them and then we were on the second level of this building and uh, so I grew up just outside of Jasper and we were able to set them up on the window and so we could get pictures of Rosh Mayat and they were stunning. So a little spoiled growing up in that world seeing the mountains every day. Uh, moving to Edmonton kind of sucked for me, right, because yep. I lost my mountains. Yeah. Um, what else are we going to talk about? Why? What is our aim for the channel? What 
is our aim for this channel. Um, obviously, when a channel starts up, it kind of evolves and change, mm -hmm. changes over time, but I think the biggest overall drive that I've had from the get-go is, again, people saying, I wish I could do what you're doing, yeah. and I want to help people get out there. If that's inspiring by sending videos out, so we do have a couple of our hike videos out, like if it's just like, oh, I really want to go there, and we want to show you that it's easy, like we just put our shoes on and we go, right? Um, but we also want to make sure that you're safe. So we're definitely going to add a couple more videos moving forward, how to stay safe in the mountains, how to yep. stay safe, so like your 10 essentials and everything like that. Um, so yeah, so we once a month we want to try and put out either an educational or inspirational video. Mm -hmm. And then once a month, so on the 15th-ish, we haven't quite Ish. decided. We'll say the 15th, So beginning but, you know. <laughs> of the month is going to be the inspirational videos halfway through the month, somewhere in there, uh, depending on our schedules, because we do both work full-time. Full-time right? shift work, too. Full-time so. shift work. And not on the same schedule. <laughs> right, so if you ever see us with, like, bags under our eyes, now you know why. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, so full-time, depending on that schedule, we're going to try and get something out. So somewhere between the 15th to the last week of the month will be the yeah. campfire coffee chats. And yeah. that's where we're going to kind of go over anything that's kind of pressing in the industry, anything that's going on, or kind of set us up for the next inspirational or educational video that comes out. Mm -hmm. Hey, now we're going to move on to the question and answer section. Oh, maybe I'll make like a little bing question and answer mountain. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ding. Ding. Okay, um, <laughs> so questions and answers. So we really don't have a lot of people who've actually asked us questions so much on our videos, but every time I introduce the channel, somebody generally has a question. So these are some of the questions that I've been asking. One of the biggest one is, what is your number one bucket list uh, trip? Um, so there's kind of a couple. There's one that I've always been trying to do in Jasper, and every time something comes up, either I've gone to school, uh, somebody's wedding's popped up, I've even like purchased the the, pa the backcountry pass, and then I've had to sell it off to somebody else about yep. four or five times now. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, and we're talking over like a good 10 year period. So the number one I would say in Canada itself, and right now in my biggest one is Tonquin Valley. Uh, so that's in Jasper. Uh, hopefully I have tickets again to go for that one this August. Fingers crossed. Fingers <laughs> crossed. And we will actually be going with our good friends of Backcountry Forward. So that'll be kind of, well, that'll technically be our second video collab because we did our first video collab today. Oh, yeah, we're like filming one today. So. Yeah. <laughs> With um, Alberta Strength and Fitness, so look for that one on the channel. Mm -hmm. um, I, the other big one that I have, again, same thing, just every time I've tried, uh, again, I went to school and then just life changes. I really want to see my home country, so where my mom was born and raised, of England and Scotland. So those are the biggest ones for me. What about you? What would be your number one? Um, oh god, there's so many, like I literally have a list that keeps going and going of places that I want to be, but the one that keeps on going to the top of that is going to see Petra in uh, the country of Jordan, because it's just amazing. The photos that I see all the time are great, and I mean, it's from Indiana Jones, so how else can you not want to go see that? You can wear the hat. The hat, yeah, yeah. wear the hat, I'll wear the satchel. But yeah, no, it would be really good to go see that, because I know you can like hike out to it. I think you can camp there too, mm -hmm. or you can stay in the caves and everything like that. But yeah, that's definitely at the top of the list of a thousand probably. <laughs> okay, next question. Uh, what has been your favorite Northern Adventure Squad adventure so far? I would say I like the all of them. All of them? Yeah, well, yeah. All of them, but I think the favorite I've had so far where we were just truly relaxed and there was no pressure and we just 100% enjoyed and it was my birthday yeah was our sulfur skyline hike so yeah. we'll link to that one wherever the links go yeah. on this here screen maybe here here and down here. below well, I don't it's, know. it's on the sides now yeah. right <laughs> oh okay so it's either your side or my side but yeah so it would be <laughs> the sulfur skyline uh it was just Adi and I, we were relaxed. Mm -hmm. Nobody was pushing us. We took probably twice as long. Just because we had to stop that. to take oh, photos. Photos and videos and like yeah. everything you're going up and it just changes so much. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I think one of my favorite adventures, like Canadian adventures I've done mm -hmm. is I went to Nova Scotia for my baby sister's wedding. Uh, if you guys have never been out to the East Coast, you, especially in the summer, it is stunning. And if you ever get the chance, uh, Nova Scotia has a really small wine country. They're really not big on exporting their wine out, but oh my god, so it's mostly white grapes. Um, uh -huh. You won't find a lot of red wine in Nova Scotia, but if you get a chance to go out there, go check out, I would say, in Nova Scotia, check out the red wine. Sneak your way across to Prince Edward Island 
and go try out chocolate covered potato chips. No word of a lie, it's really good. What about you? What would it be, I would say, your favorite Northern, Northern Adventure Squad trip so far? I would have to say probably the Sulphur Skyline one yeah. as well. Yeah, just like you are saying, it was an awesome trip and we like went on our own pace totally, whether we were taking cameras or just getting our breath back, one of the two, <laughs> because <laughs> I think that was, that's probably the highest I've ever hiked before. And I don't think there's anything even like remotely close to like comparable to the just the altitude. view or the altitude, altitude. like yeah. I've never done anything that high before so that was definitely my favorite like northern adventure squad um adventure so far and but if we're talking squad. about like me adventuring on my own I actually took a trip with another a couple friends of mine from down in Calgary again but we went to Vietnam and the Philippines and that was amazing that's, that's definitely on my yeah, my on list, list eventually yeah. but yeah it's Southeast Asia is beautiful it's safe like I never felt uncomfortable being there like whatsoever I was with a couple of other girls and they were kind of feeling anxious but it was like everybody was there everybody there was nice they were very hospitable and it was just beautiful there so Philippines has so many beautiful beaches too so lots of good uh, photos from that <laughs> we'll have to go again as Northern Adventure Squad great. one day yes. so Northern Adventure Squad goes abroad <laughs> We're not sure the rest of the countries are ready for us. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, random country. Um, another big one that I really want to bring in, and this is a shout out to probably one of my all time favorite podcasts of all time, is TWIP or This Week in Photo. So if you guys get a chance, go check them out with Frederick Van Johnson. It's pretty awesome. And especially if you're needing to learn or if you're kind of getting into this world of vlogging or you're getting into this world of photography, there's no better way than to learn uh, than by some of the greats, I guess, right? So he brings on a different person every week and they go over whatever they need to talk about in photography. So whatever, it's like a new camera coming out or concerns. Yeah. I know they were talking, there was a really good episode they have about um, people getting mistaken to have weapons because they're carrying tripods and people think oh, they were yeah. guns and like people actually getting injured or, or put into pretty dicey situations because of their tripods yeah um so now if you see my tripods they're covered in bright colored tape <laughs> for sure like it's, it's understandable especially with the changing world but one of the things that they do in their channel or in their podcast that i love is they have a pick of the week right well for us i guess it's a gear pick of the month because yeah. we plan to do these once a month Monthly. for now um so, do you want to start this out, or shall I start this one out? I can. Yeah. Okay. What is your gear pick of the month? So my gear pick is, I actually have two of them, but they're basically, they're the same thing, they're just different brands, but so this one was actually given to me by a good friend, Nikki. <laughs> it was kind of For like first a- first camp trip. Yeah. She went with me. First camp trip that I went with her, that has like Northern Adventure Squad and everything like that. So it's a headlamp, right? It's amazing. I like it. It's pink. I love pink. So. They're always really good, they're very handy, and the amount of times I've actually used this at home because you can't, like you need to get into a little space or you need to see something, very handy, because then obviously you have your hands open. But then I also got another one for my birthday back in January. My girlfriends that I've already mentioned before who live down in Calgary, they got me one too, which is kind of really cool. It kind of looks like the old Instagram photo kind of thing, but it's got an awesome little band and everything. And yeah, just adjustable, I don't know. I love them, I think they're good, they're useful. Definitely useful. Yeah. Um, so mine's not quite a gear thing, but it is related to the camping world and I'm going to recommend, especially for our Canadian viewers, is Explore Magazines. So they are a Canadian exploration magazine. So and a lot of them will have different hikes, uh, different areas that you need to check out in Canada. They had a really good one that was depicting like the Canadian parks. Mm -hmm. um, one of them actually introduced the Bruce Trail out east. So that's also now on my bucket list because I want to go do the Bruce Trail out on the eastern side of Canada since we are very western mm -hmm. Canada. Explore some new portions. So there we are, Explore yeah. Magazines. Um, I know they also do a subscription box now. Yeah, no, I just heard about that. Yeah. It just came out. Well, not, I don't know if it just came out, but I at least just saw it on social media as well, on Instagram and Facebook and all that. Maybe that'll be one of our next videos. We'll Ooh, subscribe we'll to yeah. some Explore. Um, that kind of brings us up to what do you have coming up next? Um, so, again, I did mention that I have Tonquin Valley. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, Fingers crossed. <laughs> hopefully this season. Yeah. We do have a couple more videos that we're looking at filming and getting out for you guys. There's also getting through our mm -hmm. backlog, right? So we do have adventures from the past year to two years. A year, yeah. <laughs> we're, again, like I said, we're full-time workers already and learning that 
that schedule on how to edit and mm -hmm. finding other people just to help sometimes like yeah. um because life gets in the way work gets in the way mm -hmm. and finding the time to just sit down and edit i have recently moved all of my computer gear from the basement up to uh, the spare bedroom that we weren't using and created a studio so i have a better place to just sit and focus on creating for northern adventure squad the only problem is we then our house flooded in November. <laughs> oh, great, yeah. <laughs> so I did this in November. Uh -huh. House flooded, and then it's been a couple of months now of us just getting our house back to order. So finally, hopefully, hopefully back on yeah. track. Yes. Um, and also, Adrian's going to be probably editing the coffee talks. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, other than that, <clears throat> I have some cabin time coming up. Hopefully oh, yeah. going out to Nordag again. Right, yep. Um, again, a little late for maybe seeing the bubbles, but I'm going to try yeah. and see the bubbles of Abraham Lake. If you guys haven't seen that, you just Google Abraham Google. Lake bubbles yeah. and it'll come up. And so what it is, it's a methane lake. Um, well, it's a dammed river actually, but Abraham Lake uh, was created from the dam. And so then the methane from the trees and everything that's like um, underground under the water yeah. comes up and it freezes into these bubbles. And it's really, yeah. really interesting, beautiful. And I think that Bighorn County is one of the most beautiful places in Alberta and I'm really excited to see where the province is going right now because mm. they are changing the conservation in that area and I'd like to see so um, I went online I voted I put my word in on what I would like to see and again definitely more conservation I understand that sometimes conservation comes with some form of commercialization right money needs to come into the area but I said definitely let's focus on that that conservation right yeah. that area really doesn't need to be destroyed but yeah so I have that cabin time hopefully out in the Nordic area uh, and then what do you have coming up I'm a little jealous I know um, what you have know, coming up it's not know. fair um, and well actually about basically about 48 hours from now I'll be on a plane off to Cuba so that's my first trip that I've got planned and I'm very excited to say I have another trip planned in May um, with my girlfriends actually are so this trip that I'm going on with my girls the one that I went on the road trip with this is like our it's past it but our 10 year anniversary of this big road trip but we are going to Ireland so not quite a road trip but definitely way better <laughs> plane trip. a plane trip <laughs> yeah we're, so we're going to Ireland we're staying at a whole bunch of different Airbnbs we're staying at a castle for one night, so that's gonna be I'm so jealous. pretty. We're gonna have tea in the garden. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making her more jealous now. You're gonna have to, like, <laughs> FaceTime me randomly. Yes. Oh yeah. So, but uh, that being said, um, I know it's not really like we're tr most of our Northern Adventure Squad stuff has been Northern Adventure Squad, like Canada based, Alberta based. And yeah. our view, like that's what we have um, showcased to you guys. But I'm definitely on our Instagram. I'm gonna be showcasing some warm 30 degree weather when I'm in Cuba because that's like a 60 degree difference for us right now. <laughs> so it'll be like one picture of beautiful Cuba and then my snow picture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I'll make sure to be sending that out to you guys. Well, I guess this will be past Adrian right now, but <laughs> past Adrian, so. <laughs> All right, well, we're done. So let's fill up our coffees yet again. Because we still have work to do. <laughs> Where's she doing? Well, not right now, More but. coffee. Thank you. Nice steamy. Stanley mug's pretty good. It should have been your gear pick. Stan I love this thing. <laughs> it will be one of these days. I want to get old. There's another Stanley product. Mm. I'll showcase the Stanley product every time. So again, cheersies. Cheers. Coffee. Cheers to you guys. Mm. <laughs> cheers to the audience for putting up with us. <laughs> and until next time, go outside. Find your adventure. <laughs>